Welcome back. Now, in this session, we're going to be using the area mill to create a, a pocket toolpath, basically. It's going to be still 2D high speed, but we're going to create area mill. Now, area mill is meant for uh, creating pockets, but when it goes into the pocket, it's meant to machine those pockets in a very smooth-like motion. Uh, basically, very slow. Usually, it's a little bit slow, but it's, it, it, it machines the whole pocket very, very smoothly and very nicely. So, let's go ahead and get started on that. Go to toolpath. 2D high speed. Make sure C plane is selected. Let's go to the top view now to see it a little bit better. And what we're going to do is we're going to select this outer circle first. Click OK. And we're going to select this circle and this one as well. And let's click on the OK button. Now let's go to the area mill and go to tool. Now we're going to change our tool to a quarter inch so go to 0 0.25 0 0.25 uh, flat and mill and click on the OK button double click on your tool and let's go to cut parameters let's disable smoothing since we don't have anything to really smooth around right now and we don't need to smooth it once you do that let's leave the stock to 0 0.01 on the wall go to depth cut enable depth cut but let's leave it a little bit less than 0 .2, uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 this way we don't wear our tool out and then let's go to one because remember when you're doing area mill you're doing a um, an operation that can really wear your tool out so the uh, the less your max rough step is the better for the tool let's go ahead to transition now transition what it does is that it's two ways there's ramping and then there's helix let's leave it at helix those are two ways that are entry method of the tool into your pocket we want to leave it at helix and let's go to output 3d arc moves and let's enable that and this allows your tool to go into your part very smoothly uh, let's go to link and parameters make sure it's two and let's go to negative one for depth now click on apply and let's click on the check mark and there you go this creates our tool for us so let's go ahead and put it onto isometric and let's go ahead and play all of them and verify it for us let's go ahead so this is going to machine our outside profile first then it's going to machine same thing core milling all the way up to that circle in the middle and there you go very smoothly machine the inside pocket all the way down to one inch click on OK and we are done with this session